Hey, it's Amanda here with Let's Sign Local. So we are ready to put items out, start marketing our loyalty clubs. Well, we just made that even easier for you. So I'm excited to show this to you. I'm gonna show you some built-in features of the Let's Sign Local uh, platform. We've already made some table tents and things of that nature that you can instantly um, either send off to a printer or send them off to your printer. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you um, access that is available to Canva in case you want to design something specific for your restaurant and we'll get you off going lickety split to save you a ton of time. Okay, so once you are dying, once you are logged in to the Let's Dine Local platform to access that, it would just be suite.letsdinelocal.com. Once you're logged in, you're gonna land on your dashboard, right? The second icon to the left here is where you're gonna access any active cards that you have. So click on that. All of your active cards for your restaurant will be right in here. Now you can see I have several examples um, because I've been recording these videos here. You are certainly going, probably going to have fewer loyalty cards. So based on what your intention is for this printable. So if it's for um, your intention is to grab the attention of new customers, people that have never been into your restaurant before, you may want to use printables um, for things like mailers and things of that nature. In that case, go to your coupon to download and access this. However, if you're wanting to market in-house people that are actually actively in your restaurant, and now you want them to join your loyalty club programs, then you would want to then click on one of your actual loyalty club programs because they're going to have different links for each of those cards. So let's say we want to um, do it for this one. So we would just cl simply click on it and as you can see, um, right away, you have access to the QR code that could be scanned for that. So how do you get it from here to a document? Super simple. Uh, you can either do a screenshot to snatch this, or you can right click and click on save image. Um, and that's gonna save it right to your desktop or to your phone if you're doing this by phone. You'll also notice if you're using this um, instead of as a printable, instead you're using it for digital reasons, maybe you're putting it up on your website, then the, you know, the link to this digital card to be able to sign up is right underneath it and you can copy that. But how do I get this um, already designed, um, you know, table tent or a flyer? Right here, download the PDF. When you click on that, it's gonna to put together, based on your design of your car, it's gonna to put together a little flyer here. And you can simply um, you know, download this to your computer, um, send it off to the printer and get it done right away. Um, but yeah, super simple, very easy for you to do. That's probably the easiest and fastest way to take action and have it start immediately. If you would like to, um, maybe have a little more art, maybe more a little more visually interesting and add a little bit more branding detail to your flyer, then I'm going to show you that next. All right, are you ready to add a little more branding of a touch to that flyer? Well, I'm here to give you support for that and to make things extremely easy so you can just get it done. Um, so I'm logged in in preview mode of our course here. And as you'll notice right below this video, is what I'm showing you. Um, there are a ton of links where I've created Canva templates. You can then go in and adjust and make changes to. So let's go ahead and click on one and see what happens. So when you click on it, it's going to open up for you to be able to edit the template. Now Canva, most people have, but not everyone has it. Know that it is a free service. Um, so you can sign up to the free service and take advantage of these. You do not have to have the paid service um, in order to take advantage of these templates. So if you want to click on edit template, we've already made some basic design suggestions. There's even a little short how to prompt down below. But feel free to change this up, make it your own information. Be sure also to replace the QR code, not just your logo and the information, but also your QR code. And the way that you're going to access that is by going into your um, suite.letsignlocal.com account, the Let's Sign Local um, platform. You're gonna click on cards and whatever card you're wanting to direct people to, you would select. And right here is the QR code. And I love to use my keyboard shortcuts to do a screenshot. 
because now I know it's on my clipboard. And when I go back, I then can just copy or what is that? Control um, V makes it paste. And look at that. Now I have my updated QR code right in here. And I know that this is going to go to the right location. It's that fast and easy to make those adjustments.